when I see any technological revolution, like if you see the internet in the 90s or the computers even before that, what it does is kind of distribute the power. So imagine you are a 16-year-old kid who gets bullied every day in school and you have been over there. Now imagine your parents are completely lost as well. You do not have financial resources. If you are like that in 2022, you have some talent. You can start a YouTube channel. You can make an Instagram page. You can create a business. You do not need much investment. All because the technology has given the power to the common people. Now I give you an example that I had to pay $9 to get the best hashtags. Now I don't because ChatGPT is free. Now it comes with its own price because Google is free for a reason because it is not taking the payment in terms of money but in terms of your information. In return of that, it earns much more than you could have ever paid it. And in a similar manner, if you make ChatGPT paid, it will have lesser information and it won't be able to improve as fast. So you are paying in some way or the other, but it's fine. If I'm in a disadvantageous position and I cannot hire 10 employees to manage my social media, let us say I'm going to publish this podcast. I, I used to uh, have a person who would write a blog and kind of dividing this podcast into different segments. Okay, this at this point, Aditya talked about this and I'll make it as a blog because now it is going to help me get recognized more in the search engine of Google. But now, I can toss that in ChatGPT and it's going to create a blog. All I need is five minutes of putting data and copying it and pasting it on my website. So I eliminated the manpower. Now I have an equal chance as a podcaster who is standing at 2 million subscribers who has the resources that I don't. So this technology is actually giving power to people who don't have as much power. So the, the moment I start getting into it, this is because one of my colleagues sent me a research paper completely written by chat gpt and uh, she was like i'm scared because if, if this can do this much what what is going to happen in the future i'm like i'm not because i'm going to use this i'm going to use this to to grow farther so w what do you have to say about that like how can we use chat gpt or ai in general yeah so if, if you if you look into from the perspective of like a creative person like you and uh, <clears throat> who is has been empowered right and you've been able to do things which essentially you could have done it was not possible for you to do that for a longer period of time so if you're looking from that perspective uh today with uh with the ai thing that's happening the revolution that's happening you can actually clone your voice i mean i have enough data on you i could have done this uh uh possibly i will maybe for the post-production we can just do that well, actually i can talk like uh, ashish and i would be there won't be any difference because I would have trained using your voice. And it's not something that's not available for public. It's actually available for public. You might have to pay like $10 and you are good to go. You'll be able to do that. So I don't even have to use my voice. All I have to do is that I go to ChatGPT, get out all of the script for what I need to speak about, put that in, and then I have the entire audio of this thing. Now you may ask, oh, but I can still show my face and I'm, I have a pretty face like Ashish and I want to make sure that, uh, you know, I look that. I know to the, to the you can train, I mean, today with, uh, right now, we have the technology right now, and I use it in my company where we send sales email to hundreds and thousands of uh, customers out there where it's my face, but I'm not speaking. And then and, uh, I it just, my lips are the only thing which is moving and I have the mimicking the gesture and I have that. So it look like exactly that I am talking directly to them. And it's very personalized. Mm -hmm. So I can personalize the message and everything. And it's it's out there. I've been using it for quite some time. So, and this is going to continue on and on, right? And the more it goes, so we are living in a video. Uh, people are going to consume more videos than anything else. So we are living in a video generative society. This has happened with YouTube and TikTok and uh, all those reels and everything. Now it's going to go to the next level because it is going to continue video. I mean, the creators will have access to all those sort of tools that are out there. You will be able to imagine. In fact, today uh, with uh, technology called, uh, with NVIDIA technology, uh, there's a company that does an incredible job with the generation two version of that uh, OpenCV uh, video generation technology. 
you be able to imagine anything let's say i imagine that i want a shot of a drone flying over bangalore city and then it should uh, land and i should see somebody riding a horse uh, along with uh, a monkey sitting on the horse and he's just riding over the entire uh, riding uh, through the entire bangalore city through the iconic places and all the same it can actually produce that video it can actually mm-hmm. produce the video so even from the filmmaking perspective also you be able to just think it from the perspective that what you want is just the imagination right yeah making making av- avatars in your basement yeah. right <laughs> make avatar 10 in your basement it is going to happen someday or maybe make video games on your But own that is already this happening. is a That's lot all, of options yeah it's already happening so yeah, yeah, know, yeah, yeah. I, i i find kind of for, for, you know feel really pity for a guy a very famous guy mark zuckerberg like mark oh, you do <laughs> so, so, uh, why i'll tell you why because mark said that okay this is going to be metaverse right i mean we are going to mm. uh, and then he said he was he betted so heavily on oculus and he bought this company called oculus and and uh, he said okay everybody is going to live in the metaverse and blah 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 everybody just laughed and we were like oh uh, this guy is crazy he's uh, he's one of those guys that he doesn't know he's lost his mind he is uh, you know he, but now look in, look into the possibility that you have now now you can vision it because what hmm. probably he had information that we didn't had information that how fast things are moving it because he would have seen that and that's hmm. why he took the bet but he was early in the game of doing that so imagine now now like his metaverse can actually be created you can create an omniverse kind of a city and landscape videos and everything 3d model out of the photo so you can take a photo and you can create a 3d model out of it you can you can move you can animate it you can do everything possible that you, you can color grade it you can imagine any kind of possibilities everything can be done it's not future i'm talking about this can be done right now right you and me sitting there we can do it right now can you have uh, all of the scripts you have all of the voice what is left 